undergrad, I began to witness a behavior that I felt was far too prevalent amongst my friends and colleagues. The use of Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, or ADHD, medication. When I would go to the library to study for an upcoming exam, I'd often be offered these quote-unquote smart drugs with a pitch that they'd help me stay focused and they'd help me stay up late. This piqued my interest and I began to wonder what effects these drugs had. Did ADHD medication improve students' test scores? My research is devoted towards answering these questions. So to give you a brief background, in 2011, 11% or 6.4 million children between the ages of 4 through 17 were diagnosed with ADHD. Of these diagnosed individuals, approximately 70% of them are taking ADHD prescription medication for treatment. However, due to data limitations and the difficulty of running randomized drug trials, very little evidence exists on the effectiveness of ADHD medication on academic performance. In our study, we used South Carolina Medicaid claims data merged with elementary, middle school, and high school academic outcomes. We divide our sample in two, depending on the symptom of ADHD, inattentiveness or hyperactivity. Over here, we have inattentive Isaac. He has difficulty paying attention and staying focused in class. Over here, we have hyperactive Harry. He has difficulty sitting still and talks excessively. We find that ADHD medication has no effect on Isaac or individuals with inattentive symptoms. However, our findings for the effects on Harry are somewhat surprising. We find that ADHD medication has negative effects on academic performance for individuals with hyperactive symptoms. This is in terms of lower test scores and higher rates of grade repetition. Some plausible explanations are that ADHD medication is associated with many adverse side effects, including headaches, sleep deprivation, and loss of appetite. Additionally, if ADHD medication makes a child less disruptive in the classroom, they may be less likely to receive needed attention or other more effective educational services. Due to the rising rate of ADHD diagnoses, as well as the number of individuals taking ADHD prescription medication, my research is important for both policy implications as well as parental decisions on whether or not to medicate your child. Thank you.